the bad times I washed away. I got into speech when I was younger because of my family. My brother and sister both did speech for Mount Vernon High School. Why I like speech itself, why I've taught speech uh, professionally, I was born with a speech impediment. For years, only my friends could really understand what I said. When you come from that kind of background, but you still love theater, it sort of merges. It makes you want to do it more. It's a lot of smaller individual events that rather than having a large cast like a play or musical would, it's more like often less than a dozen people. And you work together with a coach to find times to meet up and rehearse and then you go to contests and you perform them to a judge who then gives you feedback and gives you a rating. Musical theater and speech takes like little snippets or little or some songs from a musical and puts it in so that it kind of makes sense like the, of the storyline. Our musical theater is Little Shop of Horrors. I play Seymour. Uh, he's the lead character. His biggest wish is getting the laugh of Audrey. And I play Audrey, who is in a bad relationship at the beginning of the show, but then as it progresses, she finds Seymour and they fall in love. A lot of times it's just trying to like emulate a professional newscast, we're taking a little bit different direction with it and we're trying to make it funny rather than usually it's very mundane and bland, but we're trying to change it. We chose to have it be about the Outback Bowl game. So what it is is a budget newscast that has this like working together between production companies to have both Iowa news reporters and Florida news reporters and it's sort of them just ripping on each other. Now we have a rather embarrassing story from the University of Florida. Improv is a couple people getting together and basically having fun and screwing around in a constructive way. We learn things about how to develop characters and how to progress a scene along, but it's really just about having fun and getting to know people. In improv, three minutes before we go on to perform, we draw topics out of a bowl, and so we have three topics to choose from for a scene. We then have the three minutes as a prep time to decide characters, plot, and how we're going to run the scene and basically figure out any small details we have. And then we go on stage and we perform the improvised scene. Uh, do people need acting experience to join speech? Absolutely not. It doesn't matter at all if anyone has any level of talent or skill or anything because I guarantee you they do. And for all the students who think they don't, they do. Every student is talented. The greatest part about being a speech coach isn't the competition, it's four years later when they say speech changed their lives. Love and 